everything! Ugh, Kenny, what is it this time? Can't you see that people are trying to run business for the next episode? Hmm. And am I supposed to care about that? I don't seem to understand why I was not shown in two freaking episodes! Like, seriously! That is just plain cheap, dammit! Besides, I myself am supposed to be shown when the next episode comes up, as always! Honestly, Kenny, what are you to complain about? I mean, I wasn't shown in any episodes yet, but do I complain about it? No! I just wait patiently when it's time. Besides, you first appeared in episode 2 as well as me, and that's not a bad thing, you know. Really? And just what the hell do you know all about my appearances? What about your appearances, especially when you were asleep in episode 4? That was never called for, and you know it! Admit it, Larry! Admit it! You've talked two episodes ahead of me, and I don't like it! Okay, Kenny, enough! There's no need to complain about it, because this time, you will be in the fifth episode. And are you sure about it? Yes, I am. I can promise you, you'll be in it this time. Is that alright with you? Well, I suppose so. As long as it doesn't screw up my acting, then I'm alright with that. But still, this railway is cheap! Yes, I know that, and so does everyone else. Now, goodbye. Okay, now that we've got him out of the way, we can continue with the intro. Come on, Kenny. I don't like rushing you, but it's an important day that we get the train prepared sooner or later. Don't hurry me! I am trying to see how good it is! So that's the crane you guys have been talking about? Yep, that's him, alright. But unlike any other cranes in the world, this guy has to be one of the most annoying and stubborn crane that we ever know. What are you two talking about? Nothing, Kenny. We were just talking about our days, is all. Well, you can stop now, cause here's my answer about this cargo! How would that be, Kenny? That this cargo box... IS <laughs> Seriously, Kenny? WHAT THE HELL WAS THAT ALL ABOUT?! Do you realize how much this cargo costs?! No, and I don't plan to hear excuses from you two. Now get out of my sight! I wish to be alone! Wow. He really is one stubborn kind after all. I guess things aren't gonna go well, I think. As a matter of fact, Simon was right. As days went by while Connor and the others tried to make him listen, Kenny still refused to accept their advices and continues to complain and turn away from them during his work. Even Mr. Hildebrand and Ben tried, and still nothing worked. Instead, the engines decided to give up for now as they think of a better plan of what it should be done. Ugh. I don't need to be part of this nonsense about that damn crane of ours. I've got other business to focus on. Goodbye. Connor and the others tried harder and harder to think of a plan, but it was no use. 
As soon as they were just about to give up, Crystal appeared after her passenger train work. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, hello, hello, hello Crystal. Crystal. Okay then, what's going on here? Let's just say that our week was WORSE THAN HELL! Thanks to Kenny! Who's Kenny? Well, Kenny, as you may know, Crystal, is a crane. But, unlike any other cranes who help out other trains in the world, HE IS ONE OF THE WORST CRANE THAT ALMOST CAUSED US ALL TO LOSE OUR RAILWAY HOMES! <sighs> Sorry about that. It's... okay. I'm used to it sometimes. <sighs> no, don't worry about it. Let's just say that our day wasn't great is all. I see what you mean, Connor. I'm sorry to hear about it. It's okay. I've just received an urgent message from the mayor that there's gonna be a terrible windstorm coming. But don't worry, it's not a tornado. It's only just a powerful windstorm is all. So I want you, Simon and Crystal, to shunt the cars in good sightings before the storm arrives. The rest of you, finish the job quickly and be back home to the shed before it arrives. All right now? Yes, yes sir. sir! In the junction, Simon coupled onto Larry to take him to the shed while Crystal was busy placing some more freight cars into perfect sightings as fast as she could. Simon was just ready to take Larry when he suddenly saw some old ropes tied onto Kenny's. Say, Larry, how come no one has checked the ropes that's tied onto Kenny's? Well, boy, like always as he is, he never listens to anyone with good advices. He just keeps telling them that his ropes are perfectly safe and doesn't need any help from them at all. What? That's ridiculous. He can't do that. Sometimes, for a crane like him, he actually can. And yes, it is ridiculous indeed. What's all the talk about, you guys? Take a good long look at the old rope tied onto Kenny. Yep, what he said. You know it, little lady. Alright, Simon, take me to the roundhouse and I'll be happy to be inside of it. You got it, Larry. See you back at the shed, Crystal. Hmm. Well, that definitely doesn't look safe to me. What do you want now? I'm trying to sleep! Hey Kenny, I know that we haven't met before, but I'm only here to give you some advice. You need to have your old ropes replaced with new ones, and you need to have them replaced now before the storm arrives. Would that be okay with you? Now you listen here, cheap engine! I myself have survived throughout tornadoes and hurricanes, and not one of my ropes that still works has ever snapped like that! I'll bet you haven't seen it happen to other cranes before, now have you? Well, no, not really, I haven't. But I know that there are no hurricanes in Canada. Well, except for some of the northern east coast. Well, then you can just mind your own business and leave me out of it! So, without anything to say, she steamed back home to the roundhouse. We must be sure that everything is secured and all of us here before the storm arrives. What about my brother, sir? He hasn't returned back yet. Don't worry, Bradley. The brakeman from Edmonton, Alberta called and told me that Fonsworth is safe out there in the city and will return back home when the storm has passed. All right? Thank you, sir. Now then, Bradley, you, Alex, and Simon will sleep out here since you're strong enough to survive through the storm. Connor and Crystal, you two will stay in the shed with Larry until it's over. Do we agree on that? Yes, yes sir. sir! 
Now I must be going home too. Be safe and remain in the roundhouse until it has passed. Good night now. So how was Kenny doing for you and Simon? Well, I was surprised to see how absolutely mean he was. I was mad at him first, but don't worry, I'll let him be. Not to mention he said that his old ropes would still keep him safe from the windstorm even though they are not. That can't be good. We'll just have to wait and find out when it happens. Well, if he does fall, then I would be more happy to see him feel stupid about it. Besides, he deserves it for being a jackass at all of us. Alex, just be reasonable that it happens to all of us all the time as well as Kenny's. Just like Simon said, we won't know it until it happens, alright? Oh, fine. Well, guys, we best be prepared for it now, because I hear that the winds are starting to blow harder.